quadrilaterals lesson number 5 under this lesson we will see the theorem so here if the diagonals of a quadrilateral bisect each other if the diagonals of a quadrilateral bisect each other then it is a parallelogram what they told you if diagonals are there they bisect each other means ae is equal to ec and de is equal to eb then the given figure is a parallelogram that we have to prove here so actually this you have to prove by yourself here some steps are given and you have to solve it yourself so first of all here in the quadrilateral abcd here it is the quadrilateral abcd and inside it uh, di the diagonals are there which are those diagonals ac and db they intersect each other at point e here it is written at point e that means ae is equals to ec this ae is equal to ec de is equal to e b okay and we have to prove that this is a parallelogram so for that here some steps are given and act by using these steps you have to solve the uh, prove this theorem so first of all find the answer of the following question write the proof of your own so first of all which pair of alternate angles which pair of alternate angles should be shown congruent by ab is parallel to dc and which we have to take the transversal so here here it is the figure this ab ab is parallel to dc and which we have to take the transversal so here to prove this ab is parallel to dc to prove ab is parallel to dc we have to take ac as a transversal otherwise db as a transversal okay so for that what we have to do if we have taken ab and ac are the two lines and this is the transversal okay then the alternate angles that is bac and acd they are congruent to each other each other okay alternate angles now here related to this question answer i told you which triangles which contain alternate angles are formed by the transversal now if you are taking ac as a transversal here are the alternate angles here and here means b a c and a c b here the alternate so these two angles are having in which triangle that is a b e and d e c in these two triangles inside these two alternate angles are present now we have to prove these two triangles congruent to each other which how we can show that in triangle a e b note down and d e c in triangle a e a b e and another d c uh, c d e okay so here if you see a is congruent to ae is congruent to ec it is given here it is given and then second with is the de is congruent to eb de is congruent to eb it is also given and these are vertically opposite angles which dec and aeb which and that's why these two triangles are congruent to each other by which test that is s a yes test yes a yes test of congruence so therefore these triangles are congruent to each other its corresponding angles which are those corresponding angles that is bac and acd these two are corresponding angles they are congruent to each other if the corresponding angles these are congruent then the given lines are parallel to each other by the property of three uh, the by the property of parallel lines and their transversal then here next question is uh, they are asking which set up enable us to two triangles congruent so here which two triangles we are taken just now i shown you a b e and another is e d c these two we have to take triangles congruent to each other and similarly we can prove that a d and b c means this a d and b c if we, they are parallel to each other the given figure is a parallelogram if opposite sides are parallel to each other then the uh, figure is a parallelogram in that way you have to prove so for that you just try today if you are not unable then send me the message you didn't understand how to do this then i will 
uh, tomorrow i will show you how to do this just i gave you hint first of all you have to take these two triangles okay a b in that way we have to take two triangles which are those two triangles we have to take in triangle a b in triangle a b e and a b e okay in a b e and d e c a e is congruent to e c it is given a e is congruent to e c then d e is congruent to e b d e is c x say again all you have to write e b and then this vertically opposite angles means a e b angle a e b is congruent to angle d e c okay and therefore these two triangles that is triangle a b e is congruent to which that is c uh, e c d okay triangle e c d and it's a which angles that is corresponding angles are congruent to each other this which angle a sorry b a c b a e is congruent to angle e c d by c a c t and once they are congruent to each other these are alternate angles that's why a b is parallel to d c by alternate angles they test similarly we can show that a d is congruent to b c by same test and then if the opposite sides are uh, sides of a quadrilateral is parallel then the given figure is a parallelogram in that way we can prove it okay so all of you note down this now we will see the next theorem a quadrilateral is a parallelogram a quadrilateral is a parallelogram if a pair of its opposite side is parallel a pair of opposite side is parallel means the cd is parallel uh, parallel to ba otherwise cb is parallel to cd is cb is parallel to dd da then the given figure given quadrilateral is a which that is parallel that we have to prove so first of all here a b c d in in quadrilateral a b c d c b is congruent to means c b is congruent to d means both d a means both major is same and c b is parallel to d a they both are parallel also and they are congruent also to each other that is given and we have to prove that the given figure is a parallelogram c d this figure this is a parallelogram that we have to prove so for that draw b d here already the drawn b d write the complete proof which is given in short okay so here in short given some proof so first of all c b d triangle c b d this and another triangle is a d b these two triangles we have to show that they are congruent to each other how we can show these two triangles are congruent to each other so first of all in these two triangles inside hmm, these two are the which congruent to each other because it is given then afterwards this is the common side okay and cd these two are parallel lines which cb and ad if lines are parallel then the alternate angles are also congruent to each other so here we have to write cb is parallel here for this i am telling cb before this we have to write these statements here above here cb congruent to a d it is given okay then angle c b d c b d angle c b d is congruent to angle d b a c b d is congruent to b d a b d a alternate angles test okay and then b d is congruent to b d is congruent to b d common side and that's why the triangle c b d this and the triangle b a d they are congruent to each other by s a s test okay once they are congruent to each other c d b c d b this angle is congruent to this angle by alternate angle test which triangle or uh, which that is c d b this angle is congruent to this angle and then if by c a c t and if these two angles are congruent to each other c d is parallel to b 
A by alternate test of a parallel lines. In this way, we can show that if a quadrilateral is a parallelogram, then the what the pairs of opposite sides are parallel and congruent. So these two theorems you have to write solve today. Okay. Now in this today we learn a quadrilateral is a parallelogram. Okay. If a quadrilateral is a parallelogram, if when we say that it is a it is a parallelogram, if its pairs of opposite angles. Suppose this is the parallelogram. A, B, C, D. Okay. Then pair of opposite angles are congruent. If angle A is congruent to angle C, otherwise angle B is congruent to angle D. Then this figure is called as a parallelogram. This is the first test of a parallelo. Opposite angles test of a parallelogram. Okay. Now second. So here second test that is a quadrilateral is a parallelogram when it is a parallel if a pair of opposite sides are congruent. So in this figure which are the opposite sides AD's opposite side seg AD seg AD sorry this I will draw again A B C D seg AD is congruent to seg BC. AD is congruent to seg BC and uh, AD is congruent to seg BC and seg AB is congruent to seg DC from one of the pair, pair from this. See the quadrilateral is parallel. Then this figure is a par parallelogram when the opposite sides are congruent. So its opposite sides are AD is congruent to BC and AB is congruent to DC. Then we say that the ABCD is a parallelogram. The third point is the a quadrilateral is a parallelogram if its diagonals bisect each other. We all these theorems we had studied. So this is suppose ABCD parallelogram A B C D and inside it AC and BD. If AC hmm, they intersect each other at point O and BD they are AC and BD are the diagonals. Okay, the quadrilateral is a parallelogram if its diagonals bisect each other means AO is congruent to OC and BO is congruent to OD then the given figure is a parallelogram means AO is equal to OC BO is equal to OD then the given figure is a parallelogram. And at last, uh, the fourth property is the a quadrilateral is a parallelogram if pair of opposite sides are parallel and congruent. Uh, parallel and congruent. So just now we seen this pair of opposite angles are co uh, what quadrilateral, parallel and congruent. So here the quadrilateral is a parallelogram. So if I will draw this figure here, A, B, C and D. A quadrilateral is a parallelogram. So ABCD is a parallelogram. If its pair of opposite sides, which are the pair of opposite sides AD and BC, means AD is parallel to BC. Secondly, AB is parallel to DC. AB is AD is parallel to BC. AB is parallel to DC and congruent means with the parallel also and they are congruent also means AD is congruent to BC and AB is congruent to DC then the given figure means ABCD is a parallelogram so these all tests are there to study the given means these theorems are there we have to use to uh, as a test of test for parallelograms okay so all of you all of you complete all the theorems from uh, till today and these points are there for remember you have to learn it and then we will solve the examples based on these properties of a parallelogram so today's homework is that all the theorems 
whatever I taught you. After five, this parallel line stays there. So here one, two, and three. And after this, these two theorems that is you have to solve. I shown you how to do this. You have to complete this, and with this, this th all the properties you have to learn. Okay. So today we will stop here only. Okay. Thank you.